every, every person on earth has a better life because of manufactured products. And by manufactured products, what do I mean? I mean anything you'd imagine that's made in a factory. It could be uh, the robotic surgery system that I saw in, another, uh, in, in one of the previous TED discussions here. It could be a bicycle you rode here. It could be the iPhone in your, in your pocket. It could be the machine that made you, the yogurt that you had for breakfast. All of these things are manufactured products. And it's not just about lives for people like us here in, in Boston, the United States. Think of a farmer in sub-Saharan Africa. Their life is touched by manufactured products too. It could be a piece of farming equipment. It could be a mobile phone that they, they're using. It could be irrigation equipment, anything like that. Everyone on earth has their life improved. These manufactured products, where do they come from? They're designed by professionals, engineers and designers around the world in companies that build these things. I've spent 35 years of my life building software tools that we sell to these professional engineers and designers. The software I build is called Computer Aided Design, or CAD. So I get to work every day with some of the coolest professional product designers on Earth, and I can tell you there's a revolution happening that's changing the tools that they have available and how they work, and that revolution is not just for the professional product designer, it's something that you can use too. And I'm gonna show you some of the key changes that are happening in product design, and I'm gonna show them to you not just by talking about them, but by together building a product design ourselves. We're gonna be designing a battery pack for an electric bicycle, okay? So imagine uh, many people have electric bikes, and we're gonna imagine that we wanted to have a new battery uh, recharging pack for an electric bike, and we're gonna design it using the first major change that I wanna talk about is the availability of, of 3D professional design tools. These tools used to be only on huge computers, very expensive systems, very expensive um, software, thousands of dollars. In our project here, we're gonna do an open source design, okay, so we can open source this so anyone who wants to can build it later. We're gonna show you that today, not only do you not need an expensive computer, you don't need a computer at all to do, to do this kind of design. Um, I'm gonna do it on my phone. This is called Onshape, it's a system I work on. It's professional level three-dimensional CAD that runs on a phone. And so I'm gonna start building our battery pack. I'm gonna um, make a rectangle here and dimension it so that we get the size that we might like. And I'm gonna get some audience input here. Come on, audience. Um, give me an idea of what you would like the... Uh, five inches. Fi five <laughs> inches, okay. Well, I, I, already, I, already, uh, I already dimensioned that as, uh, as uh, uh, five there. So let's pick, let's pick this one. I'll pick eight. Okay, very good. <laughs> something, in my head said, something in my head said pick eight. This is a great audience. Um, they're putting up with a lot today. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do something the next. We build up 3D models as a series of what, what we call features. And we're going to put a, um, a next feature on here. Uh, and we're going to make this a 3D box. So you see the, you see the kind of um, boxy shape. This is going to be our battery pack. And w as we add more and more features to it, the design starts to look better and better. So here, I'm going to shell it out with this next feature called the shell feature. Um, and uh, we can select a, a thickness for that. And so now you see that I've turned it from a simple, um, a simple solid box into a shell box. And this is the way pros build products. But the new story here is that anyone with a cell phone, a tablet, an Android phone, Android tablet, you can do it. And it's free for open source projects. So that's the first major change is the availability of this is part of the revolution. Now let's talk about collaboration. Great designs are done not by single people, but they're done in teams. And so to join me in completing this design today, I want to bring out two of my colleagues Philip Thomas and David Ben Hyam. Let's introduce them. Uh, I want to thank Philip and David, our awesome guys who have taken time out of their day to join me. And we're going to work together on this design using collabor collaboration capabilities. Now, in the past, these kinds of CAD systems were run by a single individual, okay? And today, 
we can share just like we do in Google Docs, okay? How many of you have, um, have seen um, Google Docs? You've used it? Okay, great. I'm gonna hit the share button here, and we're gonna do that with 3D CAD. So I, I type in my colleagues, Philip Thomas and David, type in their email address, and now, instead of having to wait till one of us is done with the work, passing a file along to the next, we can all jump in and edit at the same time. Uh, and uh, here we go, we're, we're all jumping in and editing uh, this model at the same time, and I'm able to go in and start making changes to it. Um, in this case, I'm going to be rounding off the corner while Philip is doing other work and David is getting it ready for manufacturing. So here, I round off these edges. Um, I did a quick round there. Let's, let's get you guys involved in the audience in sizing the, um, the dimension here. Of how, how much do you think that, that edge should be rounded? You see I've rounded off the corners. See, I can make it very rounded or less rounded. What? Very rounded? What do you want? Like that? Less? How about there? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, good. Good deal. Okay, so while I'm doing that, um, Philip and David can be doing other things to change the um, the size and and shape of this. Um, another thing I'll do. I mean, I've designed things like this, but believe me, I never do the same thing every time. Um, <laughs> you know, we're always making changes. So let's put in some. Yeah, you know, got to keep it interesting. So there, I've put. That, there, there's a little detail there where I've put in a, um, I'm gonna put a 1 16th fillet around the edge, and you'll see here, we call it fillet. See how I've rounded off those top edges, kind of made them softer? You know, that's the kind of thing pros do. Um, I can change the color here. And you can see that if we had time, we could make this a very, a very detailed design. We can pick the color we like um, out of the, you know, whatever we would, we would like. And people like, um, uh, we can collaborate and do this design together um, here, and uh, uh, I'm going to put a uh, logo on here, and uh, I need a name from the audience, <laughs> something, something original that you've never heard before now, so come on, give me a name. Oh uh, no, come on, I want some... <laughs> We, did, we used that one last TED talk I gave. Uh, how about a different one? Now, come on, somebody give me a name. What? TEDx Dynamax. That's a great one. TEDx Dynamax 2.0, because sometimes one is never enough. And so we put it in there, and now we're going to extrude it. Yeah, you know, hey, uh, TED can be fun, right? That's the eighth of an inch there. But I'll tell you, you know, um, uh, seriously, the more you work on it, the better the design gets. So.